A North Korea test firing two more ballistic missiles overnight, two days after launching an intermediate range ballistic missile over Japan. North Korea has conducted 24 missile tests so far this year. The U.S. reacted quickly, moving a Navy aircraft carrier strike group into the waters of the Korean Peninsula. South Korea is calling the North's recent launches a serious provocation that threatens peace and security. As North Korea continues to break its own missile launch record, South Korea says trilateral naval exercises are back in its waters. The U.S., South Korea and Japan holding drills to track and intercept missiles, our response to the North's launches. What is the impact of all this, you know, American aircraft carriers cruising around Korea? Pretty much nothing. It will probably make some people in the United States and Republic of Korea a bit happier, but it will have zero impact on North Korea's behavior and decision making. North Korea blamed their recent flurry on the U.S. Thursday, calling them just counteraction measures against last week's U.S. South Korea naval drills. It will only increase the condemnation, increase the isolation, increase the steps that are taken uh, in response to their actions. But the United Nations Security Council hearing this week suggested Pyongyang is not isolated. While the U.S. blamed Russia and China without naming them for enabling North Korea, Russia and China blamed the United States for increasing tensions, a schism that benefits Pyongyang. Kim Jong-un is doing what he thinks he can get away with. Uh, he's not expecting any kind of strong U.S. reaction. He's letting the South Korean government and the U.S. government know that he has significant capability. North Korea is expected to continue capitalizing on geopolitical turmoil. A seventh underground nuclear test expected at any time. If it happens, it will most likely happen after the Chinese Party Congress so as not to anger its main benefactor. Kim Jong-un also released a five-year plan less than two years ago. He appears to be working his way through that list. U.S. intelligence officials say the North's missile tests do not pose an immediate threat to the United States.